lifetime or two You've been in love the same I don't know much, much about love But you make my heart beat so fast I can see it in your eyes, you want me bad You can see it in my eyes, I want you to I will never do a thing Promise not to judge you by my past You never judge me by your past Wanna get together and call you boo I would never do a thing Take me by my hand and show me love I'll take you by your hand and I'll show you love I would never do anything I will never leave You can bet that, bet that I would never do a thing I'm in love with you And you love me Let's get together And make this forever I will never do anything To hurt you I will never do a thing. I will never do anything to hurt you. I would never do a thing. I will never do anything to hurt you. I would never do a thing. I will never do anything to hurt you. I would never do a thing. You can bet that, 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 some of these um, I, re I proofread, and then some I didn't, okay? So I apologize. All right, here we are. Okay, uh, mom admits to allowing a boyfriend to molest her 10-year-old daughter. A 33-year-old woman pleaded guilty in an Indiana courtroom Tuesday to uh, charges. Uh, uh, she helped her boyfriend, uh, Nicholas uh, Trous, uh sexually abuse her 10-year-old daughter. Uh, she pleaded guilty uh, to the charges of neglect. Um, in aiding uh, child molestation and assisting a criminal and agreed uh, to accept a 20-year, um, I'm sorry, a 20-year uh, uh, prison sentence and uh, five years uh, probation. Uh, no contact uh, with, uh, uh, with her daughter. She's 12 years old now. Uh, the daughter, um, um, okay, her culprit, I'm sorry. Uh, the man, um, uh, he received uh, uh, a six, a six, 160 years, 10 counts of child molestation, um, and, and, and impregnating. Oh, he got her pregnant. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Well, the guy got 120, 160 years in prison uh, with 10 counts of child molestation, um, Also, and he also impregnated her. Okay, so like I said, if the man uh, who is wrong and he's a monster, however, uh, the mom, you got to look at the mom because she allowed it. She knew about it. Okay, so she should be jailed as well. I don't have any information on the mom on whatever happened to her. Okay, all right, here's our next story. All right, um, a teacher uh, sat um, in her car with the former uh, student's baby so the new mom uh, could attend a job fair. 
uh, CNN, uh, Andrea uh, Diaz, uh, Larisha a Plummer, uh, went uh, to a job fair uh, due to a teacher being kind and helpful. This is what kids need. Uh, thumbs up for this lady. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Chicago teacher LaShonda Carter always told her students she'd be there for them and um, if they ever need her. And she didn't uh, disappoint at all. No, she didn't. Okay, uh, they uh, spoke over the phone. They spoke over Facebook. Uh, the teacher uh, was helpful, kind, and she cared. Uh, so after the job fair, uh, she then took uh, uh, Larisha uh, to the WIC program where they give out milk and eggs and butter and cereal and oatmeal and things like that. Uh, they have shared uh, nine special bonds um, over a period of three years now. So that is beautiful. That's when I uh, talk good about the teachers because I know some teachers that really care and that they really want to help the students. You know what I mean? Okay, all right, here's another. Okay, now, a uh, Pennsylvania mom uh, charged uh, giving her daughter uh, fentanyl. Uh, uh, laced, she laced it in her drink inside of her sippy cup. Uh, police say that Jania Brad, 23, was arrested and charged in the uh, um, April death of her 17-month-old daughter. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so she died from it. Uh, Gina uh, was uh, arrested and charged with homicide and uh, endangering the welfare of a child uh, following the death, oh wow, of her daughter. Oh wow. Okay, that wasn't very smart. You know, I know some people, they feel like give the kids some NyQuil or something to make them go to sleep because you want to do something or you're sick of their asses, you know. Those people should not be parents. They shouldn't be. You can have a baby, but it doesn't mean you're a woman. All right, now here's something that I thought was pretty interesting. Um, okay, it was about relationships, okay? All right, now happy, healthy relationships don't just happen. They develop over time as a result of a regular um, and sustained effort on uh, the men and the women involved. Uh, doesn't mean, it, it doesn't, sorry, it doesn't mean uh, hard work if you had, if you and the person you love commit to asking each other, you know, these three questions, you know, uh, never too late uh, to get, you know, on, get, you know, to get on uh, the night path uh, toward a fulfilling relationship. What that means is that um, uh, in the relationship, sometimes people feel that if a couple of arguments take place, this isn't meant to be, but it really is. Uh, sometimes in relationships, you might want to ask your partner, uh, how, how was your day? You know, how are you doing? And, uh, you know, what are your plans and how are you feeling? You know, uh, and the best way uh, to do that to me uh, is by the communication. Like communication is extremely important uh, in anything, but especially in a relationship, okay? Communication skills um, in order to uh, stay uh uh, on the family same page uh, for one like I do I've always asked my husband how was your day so how are you how was your day uh, they may answer back fine and uh, you know um, you know will you uh, you know will you put the kids to bed while I take you know out the trash you know that kind of thing it's communication uh, most relationships that fail they have bad communication so what this article basically is saying showing each other love and respect will uh, it's, it's healthy for you it's healthy for your partner not saying anything, this will make you um, happy. Not saying this is going to make you happy all the time, but the communicating helps. It it, it goes a long way. Um, a foundation of communication, you know, uh, it helps each person feel um, heard. Uh, it helps each person feel understood, and it helps each person like feel loved by their partner. Both ask and answer each other's questions. Um, revise these questions your way, you know. Um, and it, 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 you know, I encourage everyone who's in a relationship to have good communication skills. Because at some point, you could be thinking your man mad at you for this or that. And he's not mad at you at all. And probably something else is on his mind. Uh, so you have to have communication. You know, same thing, your girl come in. She's a little shitty. It's not you. It's just what she dealt with outside those doors. So you both... Uh, deal with things outside the door. So what you do is you come together and you fight what's outside into those doors. You stick together. You communicate. You ask questions. Do you like this? Do you like that? How come you don't like that anymore? You used to like that. You know, you got to be able to communicate with one another. You know, like, even in the bedroom, you know what I mean? You you know what's up. You know, if you're partners and you've been lovers for all this time, you know what I mean? Don't get rid of the passion. Once the passion goes away, it kind of is very hard to get it back. You know what I mean? So uh, anyway, good luck to all relationships. I'm a divorced woman. <laughs> happily divorced, happily single. 
But the people out there who uh, have relationships, I wish you luck. I wish you a lot of luck. Stay together. People don't want you together. Stay together. That's it. Stay together. You know, <laughs> I was married for 22 years. You know, it's, it's, it's all new. Everything is all new for me. You know, I, get, I have a chance to be free. I can be free to be Dee Dee Blast. I can be free to be me. You know, and that feels so good, y'all. You know? All right. Uh, uh, shout out to all the happy relationships. Okay? Thank you.